What's up guy? Specstar here today with my first battle of the MPL tournament brackets and I'm going up here against Bobalno. We are both 4 and 1 in the pools round and now we're going to face off in the brackets and it is win or go home at this point. Uh, any battle you lose will get you eliminated and it's the final 16 looking to move on to the final 8 here in the quarterfinals. So in our way is a team consisting of Reuniclus, Klepki, Tyranitar, Megalopony, Thunderous, and Swampert. And I've got myself here, let me adjust my camera a little bit. I've got myself a team consisting of physically defensive Mega Venusaur, Groundinium Z Latios, a physically defensive Heatran with helmet for a Stoutland, which did not come, Banded Crocodile, Rocky Helmet, Comfey, and an Assault Vest Eel. If you want to know any more about the sets or why I chose to bring them, I will have a Team Builder video in the description along with a link to my opponent's channel. So I just want to lead off here with my Crocodile. It covers Klefki and pretty much anything. That's if I don't get the matchup right, it's not too bad. If he leads Lopney, I can switch in on that. If he leads with his Swampert, I can switch in on that. Thunderous, I can bring Eel in. It wouldn't be too, too bad in any scenario. So I just want to lead off with my Crocodile here. And he is going to lead off with his Megalopony. That's going to force me out, but he is intimidated. And I do have my Comfey, which is a great switch in on this thing. And he is going to want to go right for his Fake Out, which is going to do more damage to him than it will to me. I am free to U-turn here because he is dropped and he is not going to want to stay in. He brings in his keys which give me my Heatran, I just want to U-turn out on that. And I already said that, but <laughs> I'm going to want to get my rocks here now on Klefki. Uh, he can get up his spikes, that's alright with me. Now he's definitely forced out and I'm just, I'm getting a little bit behind. Now he's definitely forced out with his Klefki, uh, I'm looking at his switch in here. The most probable one to me is Swampert, so I just want to go right for my Hidden Power Grass here and get some damage off on that, potentially to a KO depending on his set. And I'm going to go for it and actually pop his Rindo, find out that he's got a good deal of specially defensive bulk, and pop his Berry. So here I just want to switch out, no, I, didn't sw I don't want to switch out. I predict him to think I'm going to switch out, actually. My bad, guys. My memory. Um, I actually went again for Hidden Power of Grass here because I thought that the most likely scenario would be that he'd assume he forces me to switch out, <laughs> as I did watching the replay, even though I played the game. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to want to get his rocks up here, and I'm just going to try to do a KO him with my Hidden Power of Grass. And he actually opts to go for the Scald here, which I do live. And I am just going to click Hidden Power Grass again. I don't think he'd want to risk me making an overprediction just to save that Swamper, which can't do anything for him at this point. He brings in his Reuniclus. I just want to go for my Fire Blast and get some information on what the Reuniclus is looking to do. And he, he will take me out with the Hidden Power Ground, which is pretty interesting to note. Uh... We do see that he's in power ground, which tells us that it's probably not a setup variant, most likely not anyway. Potentially might be some sort of trick room three attack set, something like that. And um, unfortunately with my fire blast there, I'm going to burn him and that really sucks for me because I have hidden power, or not, I don't have hidden power, I have sleep powder on my Venusaur, mainly for this Reuniclus, and I can no longer use it. But, you know, that's mine here. I'm going to bring in my Latios because, uh, based on the damage from my Fire Blast, uh, Draco Meteor, he has to assume that I would be able to take him out, and I should definitely force him out here. He has two things he would switch into, and I, do, and I am pretty confident he would switch out because Reuniclus is his way here to pretty much not lose to Venusaur, aside from Thunderous and potential Z-move. 
So I definitely think he's forced out into either Plefki or Tyranitar. And both of those are going to get covered by my Tectonic Rage, which I am just going to go for right here. He does go out into the Klefki, and this thing is just going to get destroyed. And that thing is down, making it a 5-4 game here. He's going to bring in his Titar. I don't want to get pursued. I'm just going to fire off an Earthquake here. And I'm actually going to pop his Shooka Berry as he just goes for a Crunch. So could have switched out there, but he did get me over predicting on the Pursuit. And I am just going to want to bring out my Crocodile here. So my Crocodile's Earthquake hits everything except for Thunderous, which it does not hit even a little bit. Um, at this point, Thunderous is, I think, very valuable to him, and I do not think he'd want to risk it. Even if I did go for Superpower, I think that does too much damage to Thunderous, so I don't think that's the play he is going to want to make here, which gives me some confidence in just being able to click Earthquake and attacking what's in front of me. Having Superpower probably would have been nice and made that decision a bit easier, but we will take down the T-Tar with our Earthquake, and he is going to bring in his Thunderous now. My switch into that thing is always going to be my Eel. Best thing I have to come in on it. He'll go for a U-turn, do a little bit of damage. Uh, I guess it is some valuable chip, and then he's going to bring out his Lopini. And for Lopini, I always have Comfe, which has been my answer to this thing, as I've faced all three of them that exist in the tournament. He's going to go for a high jump kick, do a good amount of damage here. I'm just wa going to want to click Draining Kiss, because even if he switches out, it's good chip on either Reuniclus or Thunderous. He does opt to stay in, and he will go down to the combination of Draining Kiss plus my Rocky Helmet. So we've now got a 4 on 2, but there's still quite a bit of game left. He's going to bring out his Reuniclus here. Reuniclus is still a very big obstacle to me. And I think here you just you always click Recover if you have it, that is. And if he didn't have it, he'd probably want to click Trick Room. So... Either way, I am just making my optimal play here in clicking Taunt, as he does go for his Recover. I'm just going to synthesis here, just kind of look at what he's going to do to that. He goes for Psy Shock, and here I'm actually just going to try and U-turn out, keep this thing low. And I do go into my Crocodile, but he is going to make the good play here and click Signal Beam and take out my Crocodile. So we know the whole the thing's whole moveset now. He does get us there on a pretty significant turn there with my Crocodile. Makes this thing a little bit harder. At least, especially makes this little Mon here, Reuniclus, harder to deal with. So uh, as I lose my Crocodile here, I do have to bring in my Electros as um, it's not in range of my Venusaur's attack, and if Comfe tries to retaunt it, he will probably take the thing out with Psyshock. I will bring in my Eel here, and I just want to go for my Acid Spray to make sure I can beat the thing, make sure I can force it out. He does go for Recover here, but now Thunderbolt's going to be doing a lot more. He does get forced out into his Thunderous, which is barely able to survive my Thunderbolt, I know he can't take out Eel, so I'm actually just going to go for my... Did I go for Thunderbolt? I did go for Thunderbolt. And uh, he's going to crit me, and I'm going to crit him. I do think both were a little bit significant in this game. So, uh, unfortunate both ways. Definitely would have just preferred have neither crit. But, you know, that you're playing Pokemon, at least it's equal there. Uh, Reuniclus comes back in here, and I am just going to want to click my Acid Spray again, get the thing lowered. He will go for Psy Shock, and he will take me out. So here, I actually have a little bit of a 50-50 to make. Uh, I'm going to bring my Comfe, and I'm going to explain it to you guys. So, there's two moves I could click here. I could click, well, I guess I could also click Synthesis, I just don't think I ever would. Uh, there are two things I can click here. I can either click my my Draining Kiss, and uh, if he predicts 
me to go for drain and kiss, he'd be able to recover and get his health better and be able to get that thing to come back in after sacking Thunderous. Or I could click Taunt, predicting him to predict my drain and kiss. And yeah, it's a little bit of a 50-50, what do you want to do here? Uh, I'm thinking that at this point his special defense dropped. He's going to think that I'm going to click Drain and Kiss. That's what I think. So I'm actually instead going to click my Taunt. And he is just going to sack off his Thunderous here, which uh, did surprise me. So now when he brings his Reuniclus back in, my only play is just to click Taunt to make sure that Venusaur can beat this thing. As he does go for Psy Shock and take out my Comfe here. Now I'm just going to bring in my Mega Venusaur, click Giga Drain, try and get out of range of a potential crit. And I'm going to Giga Drain the thing. Do 25%. He's taunted so he can't heal up. And now I'm just able to secure the game clicking my Sludge Bomb. And I'm going to move on to the final eight here after a one nothing good game against my opponent here. It was definitely uh, an interesting game to play. I enjoyed playing it. And I am excited to move on to the quarterfinals where I will face Vepsis. And I'm going to have a team builder and a battle video up for that somewhere in the next few days. Not sure when exactly. We haven't scheduled, but that will be my next matchup. And I believe he was also four and one, and then he also won his uh, he won his top sixteen battle against a friend of mine. So I'm coming for revenge here. I will avenge my fallen comrade, and that's gonna be it for this video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a good night.